Hello and welcome to another DMM Games unboxing today with this project box. I always think of Tohu project, but it's not Tohu project. It's just a, another DMM Games box. And yeah, I, I like the cover. It looks like a, like a demon girl princess. And I hope we get some, some nice hits in this box. As always, we have the, the chance to pull a serialized card. There are two secret rares which have um, artworks that you only can get in the serialized version. Like you cannot pull them in a normal version. They are uh, exclusive to, to the serialized cards. And we get one box stopper, one PR card. It has like the, yeah, just the typical foiling. Sometimes the sets have uh, some special foiling, like a pixelated foiling. This looks like we've seen it previously. And it's some kind of, well, she's wearing like some kind of Christmas themed outfit. Cute. So PR. And let's see, I, I have opened some loose packs a while ago. I think in my, in my 250 booster opening, I should have opened some of them, but I, I don't remember my pulls. Okay, just an N and a rare card. So yeah, I I don't remember which card I or uh, still still need or which I have already pulled. But since I I don't have more than two, like I had two boxes. One one I did open for some loose packs, and this is like my second box. So I will probably not be able to complete the set since there are like more, at least there are yeah five super rares and you only get one super rare per box. This is a VR card. It's cute with the wolf, I guess. It's a wolf or a furry. I don't know what's more scary, but uh, yeah, sometimes Sometimes I even got unlucky from my two boxes that I, I pulled the same super rare. So yeah, after two boxes, I still needed four. And another rare. But yeah, it is the, yeah, just some kind of pixelated, the square foiling in the background. The foiling is not on the character, which I really like. It's just in the background. Sometimes the the shatter foiling when it's just going above the the character it takes so much away from the artwork. Oh, this is cool. Another VR. And yeah, when they have the the spot foiling, maybe here it's on the eyes or under the eyes. Sometimes it's also highlighting some of the armor. But it's not going like over the the whole character, and this makes it very very cool looking, in my opinion. Uh, what is this? That's cool. I don't know if there is like a, if there is an ancient Egyptian character in this set. Not sure. I have to look out for maybe some of the the symbols, like Ankh symbols. Another VR. But to be honest, from the box design, I, I was expecting a little bit more of a darker theme, like more of, of this, like more of the, the demon or purple characters. Some of these look just way too, too friendly, like this. I was expecting like more, more characters like this. Another rare. More demon girls. Not so many nice ones. But yeah, sometimes I got really, really lucky with uh, DMM game boxes. Oh, this is a dupe already. Yeah. But also the set can be quite small or like you can get quite unlucky with 15 different rares. Yeah. Sometimes you, you cannot even get all of them from two boxes since you just pull duplicates after duplicate. This is uh, a little bit frustrating sometimes. 
I know that I'm still looking for one. Oh, is it a rare or is it a VR? I think it's a VR. But I opened so many boxes from one set, and there's one VR uh, ancient Egyptian designed character that I'm missing. And yeah, I just pulled the same VRs over, over and over again. And yeah, still after five, I think now it's five boxes, I wasn't able to pull the the VR. And it's not so easy to find and buy. Uh, oh, this is cool. Uh, to buy single cards for this TCG. Well, I remember this artwork because she has uh, two different colored eyes like Kurumi from Daily Life. And she has like this steampunk vibe to me. This looks cool. But yeah, it can get really, really frustrating if you are looking for one uh, special single card. Oh, another rare. But yeah, from the booster design, like I, I really expected like so uh, bright looking artworks a little bit uh false advertising to me or maybe it's mostly because i i just don't know the the game this is based off another command card it's a dupe also Yeah, this box was also on sale, but I, I, if I remember correctly, it wasn't as cheap as some of the... Okay, a super rare. You only get one per box, as I said. This is nice. But yeah, this box was, was not as cheap as some of the other DMM game boxes, so I guess this is, this is a little bit more popular than some of the other games. Uh, the cards are based on another rare. Don't remember if we have pulled these. Some of these look very, very similar. But yeah, we got the super rare. Don't know if you can still get a. Oh, I I never. Uh, question if you can get a super rare and still get a secret. We've got like a pirate lady as a VR. But yeah, with my with my luck from previous TMM game boxes, I I guess I cannot pull more serialized cards. I already pulled uh, quite a few, either in unboxings or on live streams even. Which makes it even better. Another rare. More fitting to the booster artwork. But if you want to pick these up, they should be still available some in some places. Like I got these from Amazon Japan, but maybe some other shops or stores have these too. Uh, oh yeah, I remember this one. Yeah. The it looks like a kimono dress. I yeah, and really the traditional hair pieces. It looks like some some Japanese traditional style involved in that. And last booster pack. And we get so many weapons. Oh, and just a duplicate rare. But yeah, I, I think this set looks cool, even if I expect a little bit more demon theme. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what do you think about this set. And for more unboxings, please check out my channel and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.